Hey guys, so for today's review, we've got the six foot hanging purple Home Depot LED spider. Now this is being sold in store with the easy find right there, as well as online, which is where I bought this off of for $49.98. Now, I waited a while because this thing is not very popular, and for good reason. It's just another typical classic spider, this time hanging, though, which is which is really nice. I do like that. Um, I got the Lowe's Gray Spider from last year, and I think this one would complement it really well. What's good is that they weren't lazy and just copy and pasted the design. Basically the same size. However, the patterning on like the abdomen, as well as that part of the head, is different, so there is a change to it. You can see the dimensions there, and we'll take a look at the back of the box. No 2022 Jimmy Industries for these type boxes, but nonetheless, looks really good, and that'll do it for the box. Let's go ahead and open it up. First off, kind of odd that the adapter was already attached. I can't remember if that was the case on my last year's Spider. However, as we move on to the actual inflatable, it looks really good. The purple is super vibrant and I intend to keep it that way by getting it out of the sun as soon as possible. What's important to take note is that I know the legs look like crap, right? Like that does not look good. But what Jimmy has done is they've attached these clips, not very well. These strings are very much prone to uh, just breaking essentially. So. What you can do is you can attach it to whatever. I don't really know how practical that is because of, you know, one leg is gonna be up here, another down there, because there is a second little clip for each side. Now I'm going to have this attached to a really humongous spider web, so I don't have to worry about that. But for someone who's not doing what I'm doing, then that might pose a problem. I've got it attached to this tether right here, but not the other one. And what I'm using is the movie projector clips that I installed last summer, and I just never got around to taking them down. So that came in really handy. You can see right there, this inflatable has two LED lights, one right there at the back, and then another one kind of behind the head. It's got a medium cheek fan, I wanna say. Moving on lastly to the eyes, you've got your red LEDs, and these kind of dim after I would say a year or two of use. Especially with the dragons that I have, I, I'm well aware of the lifespan essentially of these particular LEDs, but they do look really good at night. I, I don't mind Jimmy, you know, using these and they don't really get old either. Now the pattern, I do like it a lot. Um, there's not really a lot going on in the middle though. I think that's the one downside of it is it's very much to the side, but it is appreciated when they add a widow. So I think they could have for sure put, you know, the widow mark in the middle. They didn't, I don't know. It's not really a complaint, just something maybe they could have done as well. So as I back up here, you can see just how terrible the legs look. Don't judge it too harshly on that because it can look different. Me hanging it from the garage doesn't allow me, you know, to do anything with the legs. I just have to film the review as is, and I still appreciate the spider. I think for 50 bucks, it's not a bad price. It should probably be 40, but I don't really mind paying the full 50. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next review. Peace out. Bye.